In this video, I will show you step by step how to configure a proxy server in CC Proxy. Let's start. Of course, I have CC Proxy on my computer and I run it. What you need to do too. Find the JIR on the main screen. This is settings. Press it. The configuration window opens. Let's start with the protocols. In the protocols field, by default, all protocols are selected. But you need to leave a check mark only in front of those protocols which you need to use. In my case, and it is the most common one, I will only leave a check mark in front of HTTP, because I do not use other protocols. As I said, you can choose those one which you need. Port is indicated next to each protocol. You need to specify any free port. The system is set to 808, but I'll change it to 31 at my discretion. On the right of the port is the IP selection option. By clicking on the pop-up menu, there are two options, either my IP or zero IP. Both options are valid. Below the local IP address is set auto. Leave a check mark, unless if you do not want your local IP to be yours. In this case, uncheck the box with auto and put it in front of your IP. In the service field, select the services which you need for your work. I use mail and DNS. I do not need anything else, so I turn it off. Now click on the yes. We are done with configuration settings and also we are done with the access point. Now you need to configure access for computer from the local network that can use this proxy server. If this is not done, then in principle anyone can use this access point. I think you wouldn't like that. In the start window of the CC proxy program, select the account step. A window opens for configuring users who have the right to access this entry point. Above, in the field who is allowed, there are everyone by default. We need to change it. We change all to specified. In the next field check, you must specify the type of authorization of your computer to the server. There are six options and they are all very clear. Authorization only by IP address, only by MAC address, only by login and password, login password and IP address, login password and MAC address, or by IP and MAC addresses. I will choose by login and password plus IP address for clarity. Now you need to set network users who will have the right to access the server. To do this, click on new on the right side of the screen. A window has opened in which we can set users. As you can see, based on the fact that I choose username, password and IP address, in the window that opens, there are already ticks applied these values. In the uppermost field, you can set a username, it is also a login, below password for entering, below IP. You can find a computer on the network by name, IP or MAC address. To do this, click on the question mark next to the IP input field. In the window that opens by one or several values, you can find a computer and click apply to add it. Below you can determine how many computers can simultaneously connect to the server. A value of minus one means that there are no such restrictions. So you can set upload and download bandwidth. Below select the punctures that this user can use. With the parameters below I think it's clear too. These are the time and bandwidth limits that you can limit for a given user. When everything is set up, click on save and then yes. As you can see, the user has appeared in the field. Now if you need to add one more or several, repeat this procedure. When all users are set, click yes in the user settings field. Settings are done. 